I thought I'd make a little recording of this in case I forget how to do this myself. So anyway, I'm using um, instruments with uh, Xcode. Um, it's not the latest version of Xcode that I'm running, just so you guys know. I'm running 6.4, which is pretty old now. I think they're on 7.4 or 7 something, and probably 8 will come out soon. Anyhow, I went ahead and um, went to uh, select my device to build on, and I selected a f uh, iPhone 5S. Then from there, I went here and went to Profile and went to Instruments. So once I got up Instruments up and running, I headed over to Opium, and I went ahead and clicked on this little Inspector button. And here are my settings. I'm just grabbing the app path. I had Bundle ID in there, but that seemed to make this inspector not work for some reason. So I just left it out, went for the iPhone 5S and the platform version without the UDID of the simulator, and just the app path alone, which is the app path that is in Xcode. So this app path is pretty much the exact one from here. Uh, not there, hold on, from here. So this is the app path for this app right here. I'm using inside Opium, so not to be confused, because um, I had some trouble with this, figuring out which app path and if I needed bundle ID and all this other stuff. Anyhow, just with the app path alone, I'm able to launch um, this uh, Opium Inspector, which is pretty useful. So here's my simulator, and uh, as you can see, I'm able to actually create XPath in here. So you can do class name, ID, There's, they give you a bunch of strategies to do locators. So depending on what you like to do, um, they have it here listed. I think that's it. You have these choices here. And I'm not sure which ones would be better, um, the iPhone, I'm not performance testing them or anything like that, so I don't know. But I do know that when I create an X path and I click search, it's able to find that button for me. It takes a little time. You see the spinning wheel. Okay, that time it didn't do it. Let's see. Search again. Did it the first time. Hopefully it'll work this time. I might need to... Ah, oh, there it goes. So again, now if I change this to... Let's just change it to image view, which is the next one below, uh, day picker. And I go search. I'll get the spinning wheel. Okay, no matching elements were found, huh? That's odd. Did I put it in wrong? Image view, image view. Hmm. That's interesting. Let me take a look at that XML that I had on this notepad here. Image view. I'll just search here. Um, in image view. Huh. Looks like, well, Somehow, oh, there we go. The image view. Oh, what do I have? Hold on a second. Oh, I have cell here. Yeah, that should have picked it up. Table cell at name. Okay. Image view. It looks like the same thing. Why is it not picking it up? Let's try it again. Hmm. Interesting. The other one I was able to pick up, but not this one. 
change maybe maybe this thing doesn't work that well anyway I was able to find one let's see page control so valid xpath maybe I'll take out the one yeah misspelled here okay try it again page control page control okay No, doesn't like it. Let's take out the one. Okay. Seems like it should work. An element could not be found using the locator. Hmm. Huh. That's weird. Um so it's clearly when, when I copy this XML and I put it in here and I do my little search page control, there it is right there. UI table cell name. So, okay, and then I'm saying at name equals this. Huh. Well, why didn't we find it? We didn't it probably matter. Okay. Well, I'm using this one. Is there some space in it or something? No, nope, no space. Okay, anyhow, maybe it doesn't work that well. That looks like it could be the case. Let me put back in my um, buttons or something. That should work. No, it doesn't like buttons. Um, does it like Date picker, let's try that again. Date picker. Okay. So somehow, okay, let's search again. Oh, okay. It, it liked date picker. Not sure why I didn't like the other ones. They are all the same in the XML. It seems like the expats are valid. I'll have to look at that again. But anyhow, as you can see, you can uh, test out your locators here. And you saw how everything was set up. And that's basically what I wanted to show you in a nutshell. Um, and that's about it. Later on, I think I'll, I might show you from scratch how to um, get this started. But this is with an uh, an APP file itself from the actual uh, the actual the whole uh, program. So I, I, I'm going to try a zip file next.